Hey guys, this is Abby, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I built the bunny's new cage. The cage is about 3 feet by 9 and a half feet, and I thought I would take advantage of the low ceiling on one side of my room and build the bunny cage there. So I started off by taking some measurements and see how far the cage would come out. Then I moved their temporary cage out, swept all the mess behind there, then I rolled out their flooring. The flooring I got for this cage I bought from Lowe's. You can buy it by the foot. It's three feet wide and it has this like traction on it which is really nice so then the fleece and stuff won't slip around as much. I didn't make a plywood base or anything, I just laid it right on the floor and it worked really well. And here it is all laid out. Next thing I did was take some untreated pine and I measured them up against the baseboards and then I screwed them into the trim. I really didn't want the bunnies chewing the actual trim even though i drilled holes into the trim at least they're not chewing paint and stuff and just ruining those boards so i just covered those all up and had my dad table saw some boards as well so then they would fit for what i needed and here's misty checking it out then it was time to make the main frame of the cage for the main frame i used two by threes because i didn't quite need the strength of two by fours and plus they're a bit cheaper. So I took my measurements and used the table saw and chopped some stuff up. A lot of my measurements ended up not being quite right because one side of the ceiling is slightly taller than the other side, but I did my best. And because the ceilings are slanted, I had to do a lot of angle cuts. So for those, I just put the board in the clamp and then took a handsaw and cut them down. So I started with the small board that went on the back of the cage and I tried not to drill into the wall as much as possible and I did not want to drill into the floor at all. So for the bottom I drilled it into the trim and at the top was the only spot I drilled into the wall. The next board was the one that went in the front of the cage and here I had my brother step on it. So then it was nice and level and I drilled those in. Here's what it looks like so far. So the next board went from the top of the front board all the way to the top of the bottom board and I cut those and put those up. Then it was time for the sides. So for the sides I used some paneling. I was originally going to buy plywood but then we saw this paneling at Home Depot and it was cheaper and it was nice and smooth. And I had my dad cut the paneling to size when I thought it was the right size so it didn't fit quite exact but it ended up working pretty well. Then it was time to make the door so I took my old door from the old cage and just trimmed it down so then it was a little bit shorter because it was a bit too tall. Then I needed a board a Along the front so I measured it out and it's a bit longer than eight feet so I had to make it out of two boards again doing my best not to drill into the floor which I might have a tiny bit then I measured the whole length and the length of the door or the width I guess I should say and then I did a bunch of math which you probably aren't interested in but I came up with the right number and then I cut two boards for the frame of the door and found where they should go to go in the middle of the cage. Originally, I was gonna put the door off to the right, but I ended up only having enough wood to put it in the middle, if that makes sense at all. So I made the frame for the door, then I needed the boards across where the ceiling is. It was a bit tricky to do, but I held it up there and screwed the boards to finish up the frame. Then it was time to take apart their temporary cage. Lots of zip tie cutting and zip tie tying later. I put the grids on the door. I had all the grids I needed and I used all my white ones. Then it was time to put the door on the cage. So I ended up putting the door on four times before I got it right. There just wasn't enough space at the bottom for it to slide across the floor without scraping the floor. But I found when I put my iPod and a phone underneath, then it ended up with enough room underneath. I had a little eye hook from when I had a door on the closet for Rowan, so I tossed that on. At this point, I put on the hay rack, so I drilled some holes in the paneling and just decided to use zip ties to hold it up. Then it was time to zip tie. Before I zip tied the grids though, I drilled a million holes all around the frame for the zip ties, which took forever, but then I zip tied the grids onto the cage. 
I only had enough time that day to do the bottom half of both sides, but that was enough to keep the bunnies in there for the night, and by then my room was a total disaster. So at this point, it was time to silicone the bottom. Now, I had no idea how this was going to work, but I bought a thing of silicone and I cocked it all around the bottom edges to make it more waterproof. So if water spilled, it wouldn't get underneath the flooring or make mold or anything. So I took the bunnies out and siliconed all the edges as well as I could and it stunk in my room for a while. But once it dried, I put the bunnies back in, then I finished up the top grids. And because the ceilings aren't even on both sides, on the right side I had to cut down the grids a little bit, which was super annoying because cutting metal is a big pain. But I finally did it and then I tied up that top row. After I got done doing all the zip ties, then I had to cut all the ends of the zip ties as well. So I wanted them to have a level in this cage. I did keep their old level from their last cage, but it was a bit too big, so I had to cut it down. And I also had to cut out a notch for the frame of the cage. So I took off all the trim, which had fur and hay stuck underneath. And then I went out to the garage and started to alter it for their cage. I ended up taking a notch out of both sides, which somehow I didn't realize that I only needed to do it out of one side. So now there's like a little hole in the corner, which isn't needed, but oh well. So I got all done with that. I cut all the trim back to the size that it needs to be and screwed it back together. Then I took the last bit of 2x3s that I had, cut them to 19 and a half inches because I thought that would be a good height. I screwed them into the trim just so then they wouldn't slide around. And then I carried the level into the cage and luckily it fit. And so the 2x3s are holding it up on the right side and then on the left side I put zip ties and it's being held up by that. And I also screwed it into the 2x3s as well. And here that is and I think it looks pretty great. So then I took their old ramp, their old ramp I've been using for years in the last two cages, and I cut it down yet again to the size I needed, and I used a handsaw. And I put that all back together and then screwed it on to the level, and there you go, that is all done. Then the last thing I had to do was paint. So we ended up having some off-white paint, which worked perfectly for this cage, and I didn't need to buy it. So I just painted the whole thing, only the outside though, not the inside. The inside needs to stay natural for the bunnies if they chew it. Rowan also liked the paintbrush, he thought it was quite fascinating. And there we go, the cage is done. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I love the way it looks. It's like a little castle in the middle of our room. I like how it's symmetrical with our beds on each side. Square footage wise, it's bigger than my last cage. And I like how I can see the bunnies throughout the whole cage. Whereas my last cage was kind of dark and it was really hard to film in. So I really hope you guys liked seeing this cage. I'll have a cage tour up soon. I'll have links to everything I bought down below. I ended up spending about $65 on this project. That price is mostly just the wood and the flooring. I had all the grids. I had bought the zip ties a few months ago. And although this video isn't really like a how-to video, I hope it gives you some inspiration and shows you how you can turn a space into a bunny cage with a little bit of creativity. So yeah, I really hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll be seeing you in my next one. Bye.